What's up guys? It's me, your sister, Yunyan in the house today, and I'm gonna film a uh, get ready with me today. And right now I just washed my face and I'm gonna start with my skincare and then go on with my makeup. I have a lot of new makeup products that I want to share with you guys, so stay tuned until the very end because we're gonna be actually trying them out for the first time together. And right now I'm actually gonna try out this new sheet mask I got from Innisfree. And this is like a little cute booklet that they sent me over. And it says that you can get seven days to glowing skin. So they have all of these different types of sheet masks for you. Dun, 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 as you just switch up. And there's a lot of uh, sheet masks that I have never tried here. I've actually tried the honey one and I've tried the aloe one. Those are very, very good. They were very mild, but I'm super excited to try these out. And right now my skin is crying out for moisture so i'm gonna actually go on with the first step and this is clear supple preparation unscented toner and with my skincare routine i'm not gonna do it too in depth because i want to move on to my makeup routine today i'm just gonna wipe that baby up and actually i don't like um using sheet masks before i put on makeup because my skin does feel fabulous but i do have so much baby hair it always gets wet and looks really really oily and things like that so it's not a good look or good thing to do for me personally um but right now i don't really mind because i'm gonna be wearing a pedora hat today uh, so it's all good in the hood my hair can look oily as much as it can it's all good Okay, so today I feel like my skin's super, super dry at the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna just rip it up really easy. In the back, it says uh, what it's good for. So this is really good for uh, moisturizing sheet mask soaked in Manuka Honey Serum. Um, it's good for dehydrated, thirsty skin, which is my right now. So I'm just gonna pop that open. I really like Innisfree ones because it's not too pricey, so it's like affordable and I think they're very mild. I think, uh, but you have to be careful with the ingredients because some might not work for you. And the sheet mask, the material itself, uh, it doesn't feel too luxurious or anything, you know, to be honest, um, but it's pretty good, you know, it's pretty decent for the price. Wow, the scent of honey is there for sure. It's not. You can tell definitely. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna wait about 10 to 15 minutes and I'll be back. Okay guys, so it's been about uh, 15 minutes and I was so surprised. Isn't this so cute? I don't know if they made it like so it's a little cute thing or they made it so that we can take it off easier. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a little handle going on. But it's adorable. It makes me look like I have little ears. So this is really cute. I did not see this before. Very surprised. This is so cute. And I'm gonna take it off always from the bottom to top. Mmm. Okay, my skin obviously looks plumped and it feels really, really hydrated. Um, I can't really tell a huge difference from other sheet masks, but definitely uh, with this price and with, this, uh, with these ingredients, I think it's pretty good, pretty decent. And my skin feels really nice and I really don't like it when um, my skin feels really sticky afterwards but it feels really okay so I don't mind it, I don't have to wipe off a little light layer of it because some of the ones that feel really sticky I want to take it off before I put on makeup because I know it's gonna give me like lotion boogers or it's not gonna uh, there's gonna be a, a layer of it so that my makeup won't go on smoothly okay alright so I'm gonna continue with my skincare. Um, I don't like putting on too much products before makeup. 
just because like I mentioned I do not like lotion burgers my skin really doesn't soak up a lot of uh, the products easily I'm just I don't want to say cursed you know but I just my skin's not blessed in that way so I always make sure to put very very small amounts of skincare and I always make sure that I soak it in really well and I don't rub too much because I feel like you kind of awaken your dead skin cells that has already been calmed so what I like to do is to dab don't put too much pressure on it but just to dab and just to kind of set the moisture or products in all right so I'm gonna be using uh, Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum this is the origin like this is the old version um, and they switched it up to the tube type and I got this for I just had it around in the house and I didn't know so I thought I would use it up you know just gonna use maybe that much and just soak it in for those of you who know me you guys know I use much more than this so this is pretty small amount for those of you who are new to my channel welcome to the fam and yes I usually use much more than the amount that I'm putting on right now I don't know if you guys could tell but I'm like spreading it out I'm not rubbing it in but I'm spreading it out to the places I want it and then I dab I dab like there's no tomorrow you know what I'm saying and while I'm doing this I have my oats ready for me with my soy milk and some bananas and some sunflower seeds and some walnuts that's what I'll be having for breakfast because in the afternoon I'm going to actually a barbecue uh, to see one of my best friends from junior high school I have not seen his ass for 10 years um, I miss you so much and I think I talked about him once or twice because he always used to slap my like lips for chewing like with my mouth open sorry Kevin I still do it but um yeah I didn't know he was in Korea and last minute we you know connected and uh, we got connected um, through Instagram I don't know why we lost each other's contact but anyways we're gonna go I'm gonna go to Namyangju and you're gonna go to I'm gonna take you guys so we're gonna go to Namyangju which is like further in the boonies than my house so it's pretty far it's an hour away and in Korea that's pretty far by car if you're gonna go somewhere that's an hour away by car it's like that's pretty far in the states it's so large that you know usually like try we drive up to like 30 minutes 40 minutes that's no problem but here it's like it's something big so I have to take a cab and it's gonna take me one hour no 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 yeah, yeah it's gonna take me one hour but with public transportation it said it's gonna take me two hours and 30 minutes so I was like forget it I'll just I'll just cap it it's gonna cost me 40 bucks but you know it's worth it for you Kevin so right now I am done with my Troyotic K1 I love with the passion I love Troyotic K's um, sunscreen it's so good guys um, but I ran out so I'm so sad now but I'm probably gonna talk about it in my empties video um, and this is uh, oxygen suticles um, sunscreen it has good ingredients and it does have a little bit of white cast but a uh, white cast that I can deal with like that I think all skin types even with darker skin tones can deal with so I wanted to show you so I wanted to show you the texture so as you guys can see this is how it looks like and it looks pretty thick and it looks like it's not gonna blend in but I'll show y'all I was very surprised too because when I first tried it I was like oh I don't think this is gonna work for me but it blends out really well look and this smells like something I think it smells like it's something that's very familiar I don't know why it reminds me of pineapple I don't know maybe I'm just really bad with expressing senses but senses sense but you guys look at this isn't this pretty good it does have a little bit of white cast but it's to a point where I can deal with it and it doesn't give me lotion boogers which you guys know that I find it really really important so this is half mm -hmm. it's not that really it's not bad at all huh it 
and it soaks in really well. And a lot of people ask me like, what's the amount of sunscreen that you should use? And I believe it's, it should be like about your, um, depends how big your thumb is, but about like your thumb, you know? It should be a large amount, amount that I just kind of used right now. So I've been using this every single day after the Triotic K1. And this is pretty good. I'll let you guys know. And one thing is that it does not break me out. So I think that it'll be really good for those with all skin types. But it does have a little bit of a white cast. So just keep that in mind. But it's not severe to a point where I, I don't think it's going to bother anyone. But yeah, I'm done with my skincare step. And I'm going to move on with uh, my uh, primer and things like that. Uh, I'm gonna eat first because I'm hungry, okay? Alright? Alright, I'll be back, okay? Okay guys, so I had my oats and some sunflower seeds and some walnuts. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with my makeup because it's gonna be a pretty fun ride. I'm so excited. I love opening up new packages. I love trying new products. So I'm so happy that you guys will be with me. Um, this is a package that I got from... Damn, that's that's freaking loud. What is that? Okay, alright. Nothing important, but dang. And this is from Nature 21 Boulevard. Uh, they have like a sweet... I love it when like companies write handwritten letters. Like, you know, it's legit. It kind of, you know, speaks to you. Thank you so much. And uh, as we open up the package, I know that I got a foundation in here. So I really wanted to try it. Ooh. Look at that, looky, looky, looky. Okay, so this is a product from I Done, and this is a foundation that I wanted to try out. And this is also a eyebrow pencil that I wanted to try out. And then, yeah, I asked for the cheeks. This is really cute. I thought I can use it for my lips and my cheeks. I thought this was very cute. Then I got a lip gloss from here too right here i'm really excited to try out the foundation because you guys i use a lot of bb cushions and i use bbs but i don't use foundations or i'm not really experienced in foundations. so let's see what this is about i got it in neutral light 203 and i'm just gonna open this up oh it's the packaging is pretty darn heavy and it looks really white Oh, I don't know if this will work for me and... Okay, y'all gotta stop, man. Well, the foundation itself feels very fancy because it's like the packaging, it's really nice. Um, it is a little bit dirty here on the side, so I don't, I don't know why. A little bit on the side. Uh, it's something that... It's okay, I think. Uh, it's just a little thing. Um, ooh, okay, so because it's so heavy, it does feel a little bit fancy. And I'm gonna be actually trying out this new brush from Peak uh, Cosmetics. And it says that I need to um, squeeze it in water first. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze this out and I'll bring it for you guys. Okay, so I just brought you guys a little bit closer. This got really soft. It's very, very soft right now. Okay, so I'm gonna be trying this out. Maybe get a very small amount oh it's very different from bb cream very watery hey huh? very watery like that it looks really white i don't know if it's gonna fit my skin i'm just gonna do little 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 oh it's very watery i mean some people love foundation and they only use foundation and a lot of makeup artists that I've worked with always told me and they've used foundations on me because they said that it just portrays a very, very more natural type of look. And yeah, I'm just gonna try to blend it in. All right, let's see. Go, start. Okay, so it's not too white. Hmm. Fits my skin. 
Mm. It does like portray a more natural look, I think, because it's so thin. I think we have to dab a lot though for it to blend well. Mm, this is a pretty color. Oh, and I like that my skin looks kind of naturally like it's very healthy and it's like my skin, doesn't it? Ooh, I like it. Many makeup artists, they do apply it with um, usually the flat brushes. And I am kind of a beginner with those. So I would love to buy a new one. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Isabe, but she's a makeup artist in Korea. And she's like literally these days, she's like number one. In Korea, I think people like her not more than Pony because Pony is like up there and she's very popular just globally. But in Korea, Isabe is really popular. She's coming out in even like the TV shows and things like that. And um, she does uh, live, uh, like uh, she does, I think, V app, which is a live streaming thing uh, in Korea by a neighbor. So she's really popular. She has a lot of fans in Korea. And I like her because she knows her stuff. Like she has been a makeup artist for 10 years and so she really knows her stuff and she when she explains something to you it really you know like it she just just a, does it in a way where she's a good teacher you know like you know what she's talking about like right off the bat so yeah if you guys do want to check her out i'll link her um youtube channel this in description she does make videos uh for makeup and she sometimes does vlog too Mm. So this is how my skin looks right now. It is a little bit white, but I think it does like it doesn't look too white. I'm going to take you to maybe a brighter area, like right in the balcony to show you how my Hold on, let me... Even in the sun, still looks good. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer to maybe cover my freckles and things like that. Um, I do not want to use anything that's too bright because already I think my base is just like right there on point, so I don't think it can go wider. I don't, I don't think it should go lighter at all. So I'm going to be using Claire's um, concealer. I really like this concealer very much. I'm just going to put some on my hands, darker than the foundation. And I'm just going to use a small amount and dab it on. Perfect. I really like this for covering my pores. Mm. It was a little bit darker than the foundation, but I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit and it'll be fine. Okay, up next I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my eyes first probably. And I do want a mirror and I got this. I'm so excited, I wanted to open this up. This is from Peak Cosmetics. And this is the first time I'm actually seeing it. So I'm, I don't know what's gonna, I think I did choose it, but I don't know what colors are in here. Probably I got ones that I can be, like I can use it daily. But ooh, okay, I'm gonna open it up. I get so excited when I open up new, especially uh, products, makeup. <gasps> Whoa, I've never had a palette this, <gasps> big and with a lot of variety like this oh my gosh guys this is so pretty <gasps> you can use it for 24 months so you can use it for two, up to two years after opening it wow i love the colors they're so pretty <gasps> i think some i can be i can use it for daily and the others i can just use it when i want to you know fix it up a little Today I wanted to go a little bit, um, little bit brownish, orangish, coralish, and things like that. So I think there are a lot of colors that I would love to try. Maybe another time I would love to try 
like bluish colors and darker colors. Mmm. And sadly, there's no mirror to it, so I think I do have to uh, find a mirror for myself. I'll just use this little eyeshadow. I think it'll work wonders. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using um, Innisfree's um, No Sibum Blur Powder. This was actually the limited uh, version of it. So I'm just gonna use a little bit. So I'm just gonna put it right here in the eyebrow and my hair lines and jaw lines. I don't contour too much um, as a lot of uh, people do uh, in the States or you know in Western countries like that. Uh, I think I do go for a little bit more of the Korean style type of makeup, but I do contour on my jaw lines a little bit. So I'm gonna get uh, my favorite brush. Um, this is a brush I got from Tony Molly, and I love it. It was very, uh, the price was good. Um, the brush is really good quality and I've been using it for a very long time. So this is um, from Tony Molly, And I really like this. This works for cheeks. This works for, you know, contouring, just the whole shebang. And this is also my favorite, favorite, look at this. <laughs> you know when you could see the bottom of it, you know you like it, you know what I'm saying? So this is the Crystal Blush 05 Sugar Brown. I use this for everything. I use it for my base shadow, I use it for contouring my jawline and my hairline and things like that. Just do it like that, just hit it once. And then I start from the Basically the parts that can be the darkest and since my base makeup is really white today I'm not gonna do too much because I think everyone's gonna be able to see that So just slightly in the jawline Then go up and Just dab on a little bit So it can look better in photos I don't contour too much uh, daily, but especially when I'm filming, I try to contour a little bit because look, you look more 3D. Like everything looks boom, bam, in your face. So just do the lines really lightly like that. Contour my neck a little bit. Cause slimmer neck, you know, make sure a uh, body and whole figure look more proportionate. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm gonna use this brush and this is from probably Aritaung. And this is a pretty darn good brush too. I really like this. Um, I've been using it for a long time and it has always been the best brush to uh, do the first layer of uh, whatever I'm gonna do. And I, I'm so excited. I don't know which color I should do. Mm, something natural because this is the base. So I think I'm gonna start with something that's light. Oh, this Maybe this one. This color looks really cute. I'm gonna just start with that. Um, just get a little bit. And here we go. Oh, very pigmented. Always a first stroke is like the strongest so I'm gonna blend that out I don't know which color I should use <gasps> this is pretty I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for kind of a pinkish one right here this is a really pretty color I think it'll match well see okay I like it Ooh. okay so it's a little bit red a little bit has that reddish feel to it. I'm gonna be using the same color. Uh, maybe I'll mix it a little bit with the beige, with the pink that I liked. <sighs> mix it up a little bit. And do the bottom too. Just to be able to connect everything together. This is Tony Moly's eyeliner, and I love this so much. This is a gel liner. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little amount. So here we go, I'm gonna actually flip. And 
and fill in my water lines. Now I do this because I have really, really, really thin double eyelids. So what it does is it kind of, um, if I do eyeliner, thick liner on top, my eyes look smaller. So that's like the bad thing about it. So I only do it on my waterline and then I do the tail only. A lot of people get scared when they do this. You'll get used to it. It just takes practice. So I'm gonna bring it out a little bit. So I think you have to juggle with it. You really have to see like what's gonna, what works for you and what doesn't work for you and what you're feeling that day. But I always have very similar makeup things that I go to because I know that it looks the best on me. And then I just take out the tail a little bit longer. So my whole eyes look really long. Compared to here, it looks a little bit bigger right here. This is something that I learned from my uh, makeup artist, Eunji uh, uh, And this is really simple and I really love this. I need a color that's a little bit darker than what we've used for my eyes right now. Um, more than going to the reddish tone, it's better that I think I go a little bit brownish. So um, I'm gonna go maybe this one or this one, maybe. I think this will be perfect. So what I'm gonna do is fill in this part and connect it to my tail right here. So that overall, it's just my eyes look bam. Um, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. Much darker, as you can tell. I do it as close as and only inside my double eyelid line. I'm gonna go a little bit over maybe just to blend it out. But as soon as I open my eyes, that's not gonna show anyways. So this is really pretty because when you close your eyes or look down, it's like this, but when you look up, you can't really see it. It's not too much. And then I connect it to my liner right here, right here. Isn't it pretty? I like it. So in pictures and in videos, it looks much better for me. So. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. And with the darker colored shadow that I used just now, I'm going to add a little bit on the edges too, like this. Okay guys, so I'm going to move on to my lashes now. Um, I'm just going to do some mascara like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Give it to me. Uh-huh. My lashes aren't that bad for Asian lashes. It's very, very, very thin. I don't have much of it. But it is a little bit long compared to other people. So after I get that done, I'm actually gonna be trying out this new product. This is also from Peak Cosmetics. They sent these over for me as well. Um, I think this is a mascara. It looks like this. And it was kind of fancy because it, it did come in this uh, type of glass case looking thing. But I don't know what these are exactly because the names are Fiber Lashes Natural Fibers. But maybe it is like a mascara with fibers. Yes, exacto mento. Ooh. Okay, I love trying on new mascara too. Because I'm so excited to see. Because mascaras are so similar that it's hard for me to find something that I like. So I'm always excited because I do want to find something different. Ah. Okay, the color is really black. Like most mascaras. I like brown ones too. Mm, this is really nice. Do you see? Oh no, focus on this one, baby. Don't focus on that one. I don't like the ones that clogs or clumps my lashes together. I mean, no one really likes that. 
And sometimes it's pretty because it does make your lashes look longer, but this doesn't clump. But wow, it's, it looks really nice. Whoa. Ooh, I'm so impressed with the mascara. Look, look how long they look. Mmm, me likey. A little trick uh, for the mascaras that smudge just like that, just leave it until it dries. Because if you try to remove it right now, it's going to smudge more. So just leave it and forget about it. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows while everything kind of dries up. And I'm going to be using the eye done. I don't know how you pronounce this. If it's e done, eye done, I'm assuming. And this also looks really fancy. The foundation felt fancy too. The package is really nice. As you can see, it has the brush part on this end and on the opposite end has the pencil. Ooh, okay. So it's the type that you have to kind of sharpen. So I'm gonna just go ahead. Ah, ooh, I like it. Ah, okay. The color is pretty nice. I'm gonna use the brush part. To brush it. Should have done this first. My eyebrows are kind of going out of control because as I'm growing older, the hair is like thickening. Ooh, okay, so this is very pigmented. So usually eyebrow pencils, like you have to work a little bit for it to come out, but this comes out really easily. And I don't like doing my eyebrows too dark because I think it makes you look a little bit older. So eyebrows is always better, I think, if it's a little bit lighter. And I already have a lot of lashes. So I'm just going to try to fill in a little bit of the parts that I want to fill in. Okay, and for this area, all I do is just put some concealer on my puff or just directly on my skin. I just get the puff and just wipe. And it wipes off easier. Then when you just try to do it right after it smudges. And for the lips, I'm so excited because I have these lip glosses. I actually have five colors with me. They're very, very similar. Let me show you the colors. I'm gonna actually swipe them on my hands and I'm gonna see which ones that I do want to use. They're so pretty. I think it'll go really well with my outfit. Okay guys, so excuse me for changing outfits, but I had to get ready because I'm actually 20 minutes late already. So I wanted to finish up with my lips. Mm, I'm, I'm really excited to try out all the colors, but this is, um, there's so much of it. I'm just gonna choose one. This one will be really pretty. I don't know, this one looks the prettiest right now. Ooh, okay, so there's two kinds or two sides to it. It is a strawberry souffle. And I'm guessing that this is the gloss part. So, mmm, smells like strawberries. And this is also from Peak Cosmetics. It's the Duet lip gloss. I'm gonna, I think, try this one. I think it'll look really good on me. Okay, this is really matte too. Mmm. Mm. It's pretty bright. Is it too bright? Ah. Uh, it is a little bright for me. Oh no, this is too bright for me. Uh oh. No. I think it's too bright for me. I'm gonna take that off. Well, ah, uh, oh, okay. After I kind of made it a little bit, I took some off. This is not a really bad color with my outfit at the moment. I think it matches my outfit. The one that I just tried, the strawberry souffle one. I think this is a really good choice. Maybe I just don't, I just put too much on it. So I'm just going to use a small amount. Uh, it's 
spread it out. Huh. You guys, one bad thing is I think this mascara smudges. So you do have to wear something after. Like, I would use a clear coating mascara. That works perfectly. Hmm, I kind of like it. I like this lipstick. I was just not really used to it because I'm not really used to wearing something that's this bright and strawberry. But I think it'll look really good in pictures. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see how it looks with my Pedora. Mm -hmm.